I'm Deneen Milner. I am an author, a freelance writer, and the editor-in-chief and founder of MyBrownBaby.com. Um, most people know me from back in the day when I used to be a political and entertainment reporter for the New York Daily News. And more recently, people know me for my work uh, as the co-author of the Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man book with Steve Harvey and Straight Talk No Chaser, which was the follow-up to that hugely popular book. Um, right now, uh, my latest effort, which is my 20th book, is uh, Sparkle, and it's the novelization of the movie starring Whitney Houston in her last uh, big screen role and Jordan Sparks from American Idol. When I heard that Sparkle was coming, was being remade, I was excited because Whitney Houston was a part of it, and I'm also a huge Whitney Houston fan. Um, and, you know, of course that grew into a deeper meaning when she passed away. And so it's just like, who doesn't want to see this movie? It's a cult classic, and on top of that, it's going to be Whitney Houston's last starring role. And Jordan Sparks is just adorable, so, you know, I'd watch her in the role. And so um, the idea of seeing it come to life again was phenomenal. It's like, I'm going to have some kind of part and sparkle, you know, it's the same way that I felt when I wrote the novelization for Dreamgirls. I'm going to have a part in something that is, you know, like a legendary, you know, just classic cult movie that we all know, appreciate, and have some kind of, you know, visceral connection to. And here I am with the screenplay, like, you know, a couple of weeks later, like looking and seeing what this, what's gonna be happening in this movie and just cannot believe it. Like, oh my God, I'm reading you know, the fabulous words of Mara Brock Akil, who is just my idol. Like, she, there's just no other. Her and Shonda Rhimes just, when I grow up, I want to be them. It's like that. So, um, you know, to know that Mar Mara Brock Akil wrote the screenplay, that Whitney was in it, um, Jordan Sparks is in it, and that it's an iconic film was just a huge, huge win for me. The most critical advice that I can give to aspiring writers is to be dedicated. Be dedicated to the craft. You know, um, I hear at least 20 times a day, I really want to write a book. I want to write a book. I have a book in me. Can you help me write, write my book? Can you write my book? You know, can you help me write my book? Um, and, you know, out of that 20, you know, maybe half of one will put half effort into doing what it takes to write the book. Um, first and foremost is that dedication. No matter what you do during the course of the day, if your intention is to be a serious writer, if your intention is to write a book, you have to put 10% aside, a, a little bit of time every day dedicated to writing. There's not a day that goes by that I don't write. Not one. I don't care what's going on during the course of the day, how busy I am, something is getting written, whether it's a blog post, whether I'm doing a freelance um, article, whether I'm coming up with ideas for the next book, whether you know it's a love letter to my daddy, whatever it is, I'm writing. Um, and you know that, that not only keeps me fresh, keeps my mind moving, it exercises my, um, my ability to, to, to get the job done. You know, Sparkle, was written, I wrote Sparkle in two and a half weeks. I wrote Sparkle in two and a half weeks while we were in the middle of moving from our house to our new place right here in Atlanta. Um, while I was doing a freelance article for Ebony, I did the cover of Ebony uh, magazine for their August issues on Steve Harvey. And, uh, do, and doing, you know, like raising babies and being a wife to my man and somehow this book got written in two and a half weeks. I think it's awesome, you know, but that doesn't get done, it's not normal, and that doesn't get done unless I'm constantly exercising. People don't go to the Olympics, athletes don't go to the Olympics without exercising those muscles, without practicing their craft and being dedicated to their craft. And that's the same thing for me as a writer. You don't get to write 20 books if you're not constantly dedicated to that craft and exercising that muscle and being dedicated to it. So that's what, um, you know, that's the best advice that I can give to aspiring young writers is to be dedicated to the craft.
I encourage you to go out and get Sparkle. It comes out on August 7th, 2012. Be at your local Barnes and Noble, on your Amazon, you know, at your local bookstore. Um, I encourage you to go get it, and then I especially encourage you to go and see the movie. I know it's phenomenal. It comes out August 17th. Um, you know, enjoy it. <laughs>